Okay, right, this is on um, making a kind of, well, it's a type of picture, basically. And um, what I think looks good is if you go on to colour balance, and we've got a picture of McFly here, and it looks better with more than one person, but you can do it with just one person. And um, we're going to do it in... There we go. Right. And then what we want to do is we want to do a new layer. Okay. And um, what you want to do is basically select the head. If you can make the boxes roughly about the same size, you need to be clicked onto that layer to get it to copy. But you need to make the boxes roughly around the same size. And make sure you paste them on the new layer. And just move them down to the bottom here. So if you go and do that and you line them all up. Now if you get them the wrong size, which you probably are, make sure they're bigger at the top than they are at the bottom. Try and get them to stay um, in the same size there. Okay, I'm going to pause it now. Okay, so that's done. And what we want to do is we're going to do it from the shape of this one because I like this one. And you just want to measure it out a bit. Crop that off. Um down here, a bit more. Nope. Yeah, so they are all basically the same size. And what we're going to do is we're going to merge all the layers down and then do another new layer, which is where the boxes are going to be. So if we zoom in, and we'll start with the one of Tom, and um, select none. And with the paths tool, what you want to do is you want to click on it and you want to go around the box. It doesn't have to be really neat or anything. But when you do it, make sure you don't click it like that so it doesn't show the line and that dot's clear. You want to just put it to there. Stroke path. Do it from about three. I mean, you can do it as much as you like, but three is going to look better. And you stroke that. And then because it leaves a little box, just do a dot. And then you go around and do that on all of them so we pause the video okay so that's that it doesn't look much at the moment it looks a bit bad to be honest but because you've done all the boxes in the new layer if you go to filters blur gaussian blur you'll see that when you go down here to where the boxes are it comes up with that and you want to blur it i don't know to about 11 maybe 14 and there you go see that's a bit too much i think Blur, Gaussian Blur. Um, try about seven. There you go, that looks alright. And then um, if you wanted to do that, and then merge this down. If you wanted to do some text on it. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, Now that's only little and what I've worked out is, oh god, if we do filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, and we do it in a black, and we um, repeat it, and we select, no, and we merge all these layers down, because every time it does a tax there or a drop shadow or whatever, it makes a new layer. And there you go. So that's it.